Hello, the Vidalings. How is everybody doing? <sighs> Welcome to 2024. I genuinely believe that you are all having a wonderful 24 thus far. If you are not, change what needs to be changed and bring happiness and better into your own world. Um, <clears throat> I personally am working on changing some of the words that I say and how I use phrases and words because you definitely speak things into reality. Believe it or not, how you speak about yourself, how you speak about others, how you speak about your life in general, the things you do, what you're into, uh, when you speak passionately about something and in a positive light, it shows and you glow when you do that. When you speak negatively, it shows and you don't glow when you do that. Um, when you speak negatively of other people, it's still kind of like, you know, it still washes off a little bit on you, you know? Uh, so I personally am working on speaking better and more positively in my own world and speaking positive and, uh, gratitude and loveliness into my own life. So that is something that I work on repeatedly and consistently. And I do my best to be hyper vigilant and hyper aware of the words that are coming out of my mouth. I uh, don't mean to harp on it, but it, you know, for instance, I am working on losing the phrase, it is what it is. Um, there are other things that I can say instead of that. That's kind of a cop out. Um, I am working on no longer saying I hope. There are some instances where I hope does work the best. But instead of I hope, it's I know or I believe or I see this as it is. I see this as it shall be this. Um, or it shall be, uh, instead of saying I need, because when you say something like I need this, I need that, you're basically stating that you are in a state of lack and because you are lacking it, um, you know, don't tell, don't tell the powers that be the universe and all the energies that you're lacking it, right? Now, granted, we all say these words, we all say these things, so it's an act of process. Um, so instead of saying, I need, you can say, I know this is coming to me, or I am abundant in this, or I know the abundance of this is coming to me, or I am actively working on bringing this abundantly to me. I don't know. I, I saw a video on it and it said, bring, you know, instead of using, I need say I am abundant or the abundance of whatever use abundance instead. And then instead of I can't do something, I can. So there are obviously things in the world that each of us are not able to do particularly. Um, but instead of saying you can't do something, what are things you can do to create a step forward? Or I may be unable to do this part of this, but I can do this and this and this, you know, instead of saying, I can't weld, say, I can learn to weld. I can weld. I may not be proficient as other certified or long life welders. However, I can weld and I am becoming better at it. Speak positively, be better for yourself if no one else. If for nothing else, bring more positive light, more positive energy, and more, just bring more into your life, which will then make you more abundant in more ways than you could ever imagine. I also read something, I, re I saw a little video the other day as well, that stated uh, you can change your life simply by waking up in the morning saying it three times and right before you go to bed saying it three times that I am who I am and I am enough. Um, <clears throat> try it out. See if it works. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. Um, I would say maybe change it a little bit. I am who I am. I love who I am and I am enough. Or 
I am who I am, I love who I am, and I am more than enough. Speak more positively. But I think a lot of people can't quite digest the positivity and how well it can resonate. And of course, learn to start your day completely with an air and a thought process and a feeling of gratitude. Remember the things that you're grateful for and give thanks to the higher power, whichever power you believe in, God, source, universe, any of the other deities that you desire. I'm not a judge. I know what I believe. I know where I sit in it. But give thanks. Give thanks back and be grateful for what you do have so that you live in a power of gratitude and a power of, and a place of abundance in that realm, in that way, I'm abundant with gratitude so that more will come into you. You resonate a very specific frequency. Each human does. We all emit a certain frequency. We can adjust, adapt, and change those frequencies to be of a higher frequency or a lower frequency. And they say lower frequencies, you know, bring in lower frequencies. Like you attract the frequency that you emit. So if you are emitting a high frequency, high frequencies are going to return to you. If you are admitting, emitting a low frequency, low frequencies are going to return to you. So if you put out negative vibes, guess what you're going to see more of? It's that age old thing where it's like, I never see red cars. So you're thinking about red cars. And now all of a sudden, all you see are red cars because you are actively thinking about seeing red cars. Um, it's kind of a very similar thing. So all I see is abundance and greatness and wonderment and wonderful things in my life and around me. And I look to see more of that. That's how it works, right? All right, I'm hopping off my soapbox. Hope you all have a great freaking day. Hope y'all are having a great 24. And I love you.